Word on the street is that Dwayne Wade's been in hot water since those cases hit the headlines. Allegedly, there's a trove of incriminating evidence implicating him in the videos already in the Fed's possession. And then, if you got 250 cameras, there's a lot of footage that them agents gotta go through. What's the deal with 250 cameras in his house anyway? It's said that the footage from these cameras, along with hours of party footage, is what's going to bring him down and anyone else who's ever partied with him, like Dwayne Wade. Apparently, Wade's less worried about being seen at the parties and more concerned about footage of him on the DL, possibly taking advantage of much younger artists. There have been whispers for years about Wade being on the down low. He even hinted at it himself in a 2021 interview, confessing to wearing his sister's heels and clothes as a kid. At three years old, like I said, when me and my wife looked at each other, Right. And the reason we looked at each other is because of this, you know, as kids, I used to put on heels. I used to put on, I used to do all those things. I try, I try to put on whatever my sisters wear, whatever my sisters did, I try to do those. Then there are folks like Boozy, who flat out suggested that Wade's always been on the DL. Like when Boozy posted on Twitter, implying Wade's secret targeting Gabrielle Union. It's a messy situation, to say the least. Over the years, observers have pointed out various incidents that fuel speculation about Dwayne Wade's personal life. There was that photo where Wade posed with Gabrielle Union, legs crossed, revealing a thigh tattoo. Then there's another instance where he proudly displayed painted toes and a gold anklet in a photo. Adding to the speculation, there was a blind item making the rounds about a former A-list NBA player confessing to intimate encounters with a now-retired A-plus list teammate while on road trips. Both men are married to women, and Wade's name often cropped up alongside Chris Bosch's in connection to this blind item. Many NBA stars were reportedly guests at these parties, which might explain why there are often rumors about NBA players being closeted. To some, these incidents serve as evidence that Wade could indeed be living a double life, lending credence to the wild party stories. Now personally, I believe everyone has the right to identify as they choose. However, Wade faces scrutiny because there are allegations that his actions, particularly with young artists, mirror those of Diddy, who's facing similar accusations. For those who remember, Jaguar Wright once revealed conversations with artists who claimed they were coerced into compromising situations at Wade's parties. I'm saying that because of the artists that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front till they went to the back and it was a bunch of old and young boys back there, all ass naked in the way. Additionally, Wade's former business partner, Baron Richard Von Neumann, exposed Wade for hosting parties reminiscent of Diddy's alleged gatherings. Initially impressed by Wade's public persona, Von Neumann eventually realized Wade wasn't the person he appeared to be, leading to revelations about the darker side of Wade's lifestyle. According to Richard, Dwayne Wade utilized an apartment to host adult parties with his entourage while he was married. He provided specifics about the apartment, describing it as a four-bedroom unit on the first floor of a high-rise building. Richard recounted a disturbing scene when he was called by his cleaning crew to the apartment, finding it in a deplorable state, trashed and filthy, a common occurrence after these parties, allegedly held two or three times a week. These gatherings attracted dozens of people, including rappers, Wade, his entourage, and individuals picked up from clubs. The aftermath of these parties was chaotic, with condoms strewn across bedrooms, evidence of intimate activities on all beds, empty bottles of champagne and hard liquor, half-smoked blunts, and leftover food scattered on tables and furniture. Richard also claimed that Wade would bring Gabrielle Union to these parties, and she quickly became involved in the happenings. While it's unclear how complicit Union was, or if she was coerced like others, Richard suggested that she was aware of what occurred at the parties. Considering the descriptions of these parties, it's reminiscent of the extravagant and controversial gatherings Diddy has been accused of hosting. Speaking of Union, there have been comparisons drawn between her and Amber Heard in terms of their involvement in similar parties organized by the rich and famous. During the height of the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard case, there were allegations, detailed in an expose by Jessica Reed, of young individuals being invited to these parties by wealthy individuals, including some seen in videos related to the Depp versus Heard trial. Allegedly, figures like Heard were tasked with bringing young, mostly queer people to these parties, sometimes administering substances to them beforehand, leaving attendees unaware of what transpired at these events. 
Reports suggest that these parties often featured large quantities of MDMA, themed costumes, and bizarre acts performed on stage in front of partygoers. In essence, what Cassie outlined in her lawsuit against Diddy mirrors the allegations surrounding Gabrielle Union's involvement in similar activities. Speculation suggests that Union may not be as innocent as she appears, raising questions about why she remains with Dwayne Wade despite numerous cheating rumors. There's growing concern for Wade as there are reportedly hours of footage from these parties, implicating him alongside Diddy. According to Jean Deal, it's only a matter of time before these incriminating details become public, potentially leading to indictments. The Southern District of New York has a 98.2 conviction rate. All right, for those who don't know, if you got 100 people, only one point two eight or something like that, 98 point, you have 1.8. Only 1.8 has won against him. Deal's recent interview suggests that Diddy's situation is dire, especially given the evidence against him. Because let me just say something. With the African thing, it only takes one witness to convince the jury. One witness. And we know who that witness is going to be. Cass. She filed a civil suit against him. So it only takes one in the charge. It only takes one. Despite not being directly implicated, individuals like Dwayne Wade have been mentioned in relation to Diddy's activities. However, Hollywood elites are working fervently to distance themselves from the case. As for Wade's alleged involvement in the parties, opinions vary. Some believe he could face consequences once the tapes are released, while others remain skeptical. What are your thoughts on Wade's role in all of this? Share your opinions in the comments below.